Councilman Maddie here on Storm TV. Thank you for today's sponsor, First Source Bank. Remember, tomorrow is our spirit assembly. Eighth graders wear red and seventh graders wear black. On today's show, we will be featuring a minute to win it segment with Michael Norris and our trivia time winner announcement with Brady. Our new question will be after spring break. Today is National Goof Off Day. Monica do for do for oops, I goofed up. Of Davidson, Michigan founded National Goof Off Day in 1976. Everybody needs to take a break from time to time, so this day was re was created to have a day to relax and enjoy and goof off. <laughs> spring break practice at 1.5 million students go on spring break every year and collectively spend over one billion dollars. Tuesday was the first day of spring break. We are hoping for bunches of sunshine and warm weather. We are very excited to announce that there are 10 different t-shirt designs. So after announcements, 8th graders need to go to our LGH Digital Storm website and our Campus Life homepage to vote for your favorite design. Stay tuned for our sports edition, LGH Cafe menu, and Campus News for an update. I've been trying to set up a saving account because I'm getting a summer job, but I don't know where to go. Do you? Yeah, I have one set up at First Source Bank. Oh, really? Is it easy? Yeah, it's really easy. Do I have to have a lot of money to do it? No, you only need like $50. Oh, really? See, this is First Source Bank. It's really easy and they're really nice. Oh, really? Oh, should I be scared? No. All right, let's go. Oh. Hi, uh, we're trying to set up a savings account. Do you know what you can talk to? Sure, I can help you out with that. I set up a savings account last week, and my friend wants to start one. Can she? Sure. Amber, how old are you? I'm 14. 14. Um, at that age, we will need a parent or a guardian to be on the account with you. So, how much money do I have to have to open a savings account? Since you are a minor, we can put a waiver on that, so there is no minimum deposit for your savings account. So, am I able to get a debit card? Not a debit card, but we can get you an ATM card when you reach the age of 16. So could you show me how to set it up? Absolutely. Let's go to the teller line. I'll show you how to fill out the forms. All right. That does look good. Let's go up to the teller line and she'll get the cash for you. All right. Well, that was easy. Maddie, Amber, thank you both very much. I look forward to thank seeing you, you. Again tomorrow. First Source Day, your partners from the first. and welcome back to another Money Minute with Mr. Edwards. Thank you, Asia. Last week, we defined credit, what a good credit score is, and how to build credit. This week, I wanna share with you what a good credit score can do for you. First and foremost, a good credit score allows you to borrow money for large purchases like a house or a car. It will also get you approved for a credit card or smaller loans such as overdraft protection for your checking account. But did you know that it can also save you money? Your credit score can directly affect the interest rate you pay on some loans and credit cards. If you have a decent score, the bank considers you a low risk candidate and will lower your interest rate. If you have a low score, the bank will consider you a high risk candidate and charge you a higher interest rate or may decline the loan offer altogether. Your credit score can also affect how much you pay for car insurance. In short, a good credit score shows discipline and maturity. It shows that you value your assets and your wealth and reflects trustworthiness to financial institutions. There are three credit bureaus that store and update credit histories. These are Equifax, Experian, and TransUnion. It is a good idea that you periodically review your credit scores to confirm that you are maintaining a good score and to ensure that no fraudulent credit has been taken in your name. Thank you again, and we will see you guys next time on Money Minute. Can I smell that? I'm going to lunch. Welcome back, Lincoln, to your LGH Cafe. Today's lunch is chicken patty on bun, steamed broccoli, and a fruit of choice. Tomorrow's breakfast is a granola bar, cereal, fruit, and juice. Lunch will be a personal cheese pizza, green beans, cookie, garden salad, and a fruit of choice. Have a great day, Lincoln. Good morning, Lincoln. This is Asia with Storm TV Weather. Today's weather will have sunshine with a high temperature of 43 and a low of 25. Friday's weather will be somewhat cloudy with a high of 45. Saturday's weather will include rain and snow showers with a high of 40 degrees and a low of 28 degrees. Sunday's weather will have snow showers with a high of 40. Now stay tuned for some more LGH news.
Hey Lincoln, we're having some technical difficulties, so bear with us. But it's Thursday, and you know what that means. A Spirit Dress Up Day, Campus News, and we're one day away from our Spirit Assembly and Spring Break. Let's get straight into the Campus News with your anchors, Trevor and Franklin. Get excited for our Spirit Assembly tomorrow. Be sure to dress up and support your class. Eighth graders wear red, and seventh graders will wear black. Spring Break starts after school tomorrow. It will last two weeks, so make, for to have, to make sure to have fun, I'm very sorry, and enjoy it before we come back. Lincoln's academic Super Bowl team competed at the Northeast, Northeast Lakes Middle School Conference Invitational last night against Bremen, Edgewood, Indian Springs, Wawasee, and Lakeview. Out of the six teams, Lincoln's English and Social Studies finished first, answering 13 and 20 questions correctly. Out of 25 questions, the science team, science team finished second after correctly responding to 17 questions out of 25 questions, narrowly missing the first Edgewood at the end of the round. Our academic teams finished second overall with a total of 78 points. Edgewood took home first with 79 points at the end of the night. Great job, guys. We are working very hard on the yearbook to save our precious memories. LJ, the LJ yearbook is still on sale online at www.yearbookordercenter.com or visit Ms. Nylinger in room 105. Now time for the big news. So eighth graders, listen up. Right after the show, in your advisory, eighth graders will be voting on our spring t-shirt design contest on www.ljhdigitalstorm.com under Campus Life. Thanks for joining us today. Check in daily for all of our LGH news and for our radio. Go check them out on our website at www.ljhdigitalstorm.com. Like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. Thanks for watching Lincoln and have an amazing day. Have a great day, Lincoln. Hey Lincoln, welcome back to another segment of Minute to Win It. I'm here with Michael Norris, here to beat the record of 23 by Mrs. Walker. All right, Michael, are you ready? Yes. Okay. What's your favorite professional athlete? Michael Jordan. What's your favorite subject? Math. What's your flavor, favorite flavor cupcake? Chocolate. Favorite teacher? Hollaball. Favorite movie? Uh, the Avengers. How many pairs of shoes do you own? Four. Favorite tree? Oak. Favorite color? Green. Favorite food? Spaghetti. Favorite car? The driving one. Favorite shoe brand? Nike. Favorite flower? Pink. Favorite sport? Uh, baseball. Favorite pet? Dog. Favorite Olympic sport? Swimming. Favorite, favorite electronic? Phone. Favorite piece of furniture? Couch. Favorite band? ACDC. Favorite type of music? Rap. Favorite TV show? Fox News. If you could choose your own name, what would it be? What? If you could choose your own name, what would it be? Michael Norris. If you could make up your... Okay, you got a total of 23, so you are tied with Ms. Walker. All right, thank you, Michael, Michael, for coming in, and we will have a new contestant next week. Thanks for watching, Lincoln. I took this off way too fast. Hey, guys, what are you looking at? Oh, just looking at a yearbook from last year. Oh, I still haven't bought mine. When's the deadline? It's the first Tuesday after spring break, so April 10th. Oh, so I don't have much time? No. But you want to hurry because we, want, we need 20 more people to buy yearbooks to reach our goal. Well, I should order soon then. Yeah, and don't forget about the Erasma app. Can you remind me of what that is again? Oh, it's an app where you put your phone over the screen of the, over a picture on the yearbook and it will play a video. Oh, that's cool. Thank you guys. Yep.
Hey, this is Brady back with your trivia for this week. Last week's question was, how do they dye the Chicago River green for St. Patrick's Day? The winner is Amaya Amelie, who answered, they pour 40 pounds of an orange powder, which is a vegetable dye, to change the water green. Come to Miss Nightlinger's room, room 105, to claim your prize. We will have the next trivia question the Thursday after spring break. Welcome back to Sports Edition with Amber and Julia. We don't have any sports for y'all, but we wanted to wish a good luck to track and golf teams as they begin their season. We have all the action for y'all after spring break. Have, have a, a good, good day, day, spring, spring break, break y'all. <laughs> Thank you again for our sponsor today, First Source Bank. Remember, tomorrow is our spirit assembly. Eighth graders wear red and seventh graders wear black. We are very excited to announce that there are 10 different t-shirt designs, so after announcements, 8th graders need to go to our LGH Digital Storm website under Campus Life homepage to vote for your favorite design. Another spring break fact is that the number one U.S. destination during spring break is Daytona Beach, Florida. Don't forget your words of wisdom for today. Become a possibilitarian no matter how dark things seem to be or actually are. Raise your sights and see the possibilities. Always see them for they are there. Thanks for watching Storm TV. Have a great spring break.